idolize you and idolize mm-hmm. your music, and then you see them get caught up. Yeah. Do you have conversations with them? Like I remember Casanova, and you was trying to talk to Casanova, Troy Ave, and now Little Dirk. Do you have conversations yeah. with them and be like, I've seen this play before? Yeah. yeah. And I, even with Dirk, I was telling him, like I, when I, I had him, he was in New York. We we, we did uh, the uh, power, power thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's before. first and last acting role at this yeah. point, yeah, right but, now. But we did the the uh, not that the acting role when we was doing the theme song for Force. Mm-hmm. Got you for the Chicago version. Yeah. Then, like I was like, yo, this is this is them, right? It's a real shit, right? He's like, yeah, yeah. And I said, yo, just watch him. The his crew. Cause he said that, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, I, like I've always had that energy myself in the middle of everything that was going on. I'm not just watching. We know fifth. <laughs> what was his response to you, Dirk? What did what was his response to you? He said, you know what? He said somebody just came in my house. How do you know exactly what address is? I don't get my address. Nobody like this. It's not because uh, something that happened. The robbery had, in Georgia. Yeah. When his um, when India had to. He shoot. went straight to talking about that. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. What do you think? All right, what you just heard is a uh, Fifty Cent and a shout salute to Fifty Cent. The Breakfast Club watched their watch this whole entire interview. It seemed like they had to wrap it up though, because uh, Kamala was on the other line. But uh, Fifty said he tried to warn Lil Dirk. He said he tried to warn him, as you heard, and um, he got people coming. Dirk said he had people coming to his house, and it's it's sad, man. Like everybody's talking about it because Dirk might be the biggest artist to get jammed up. I mean, was Diddy? I mean, I guess you could say Diddy's an artist, but. Mm, you know what I mean? More of an entertainer. But uh and it seemed like Dirk, he was trying to get his life together. He was trying to, you know, bring bring the city of Chicago together, trying to stop dissing his uh as he say his ops. And sometimes, man, it's just too little too late. Now we don't know, but the feds, whenever they coming in, they are they see it's very serious. Ninety seven percent conviction rating, and from what I was seeing, if he get convicted, it's a minimum of 30 years. And uh, both people saying he was using the people who bought the rental cars to go do the deletion. Uh, Quano Rondo, even though they missed and hit his friend instead. But um, they said the cars were in the tie, tied back to Little Dirk. And he was trying to lead the country because well, four or five different people got locked up. Allegedly by doing an OTF jam was wearing a wire, allegedly. But um, it's just sad, man. It's sad. It's sad. I mean, you got to you gotta be careful, man, who you with. Sometimes stuff ain't worth it. I mean, I, I know I know it was Von, and I know that they was real close, and Von was supposed to be the next superstar. But was it worth the rest of your life? And was it worth you losing eight kids? Meaning, if you get life, and you say you got eight kids out there, that's eight kids that's no longer can say they father with them. You know what I mean? But maybe Lil Durk, people, some people saying Lil, Lil Durk knew they was coming. Maybe that's why he did the thing at the United Center, and... Um, why he was trying to bring peace because he, he knew that maybe he needed to change something before the feds was coming but for him to book up three different flights in a private jet or two pl- flights in a private jet you know he was he was trying to uh, trying to get up out of here but one thing about the feds man they watching everything listen these people these people can find a penny from space <laughs> you know what i mean like they have that type of technology so it really ain't no running no 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 Running or hiding from them, man. So, you know, this is unfortunate. It's unfortunate that this might be the end of the really of Chicago of Chicago music for now, as far as like the popularity with Drill. Even though Drill was my, probably was the worst thing that happened to uh, the rap culture, honestly, because you never seen so many artists get deleted <laughs> during the Drill movement. Like it seemed like every day you look up, there's new artists getting deleted. So, the only one who made it through, honestly, was Chief Keef. Even, even like I said, he lost his biz when his close cousins and stuff. So you know, it just it ain't worth it, man. It ain't worth it. Be like Fifty Man getting the movies. You see Fifty collabing right when Tyler Perry, like he did in the interview, talk about the interview. He put multiple people on. He put on artists and he put on actors. Man, go that route, man. It's cool, man. Be a nerd, be a square. The streets, man. It ain't worth it, man. Let it go. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.